So, prayers. Prayers. There was a lot of praying going on when I was in a coma. A lot. A lot. Okay. A lot of prayers. My mum got a priest, you know, to come. So, can I ask you a question? Because mm. obviously I've never, I've never met anyone that's been in a coma. Yeah. Right. Whilst you were in a coma, mm -hmm. did, you, <laughs> did you hear anything? Do you remember anything? I don't remember nothing. Everyone asked really? me that. I don't okay, remember cool. nothing. No, it's just because some people... Yeah, they see the lights. Yeah, and or they hear yeah, voices. They hear. Or, right, okay, cool. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. So you come out You come out of this coma. Mm -hmm. um, what did they tell you this whole thing is? Okay, they said to me that it's my clonus. Okay. So I'm like... What is you that? know what I mean? What's that? Yeah. You know, mum was questioning it. And it's a neurological disorder. Lack of oxygen to the brain is what it is. Sorry? Yeah, it's lack of oxygen to the brain. So, leading up to the point of that attack, mm -hmm. You didn't feel anything different or, you know, mm. you, you're 16 years old, mm. along your journey of life, mm -hmm. leading mm. up to 16, mm. you don't feel different or feel like you need more oxygen or... After that, you mean all Or leading lead up to a year before? No, I went to school normally. Normally. Took my pants as well. Nothing was working. Wow. So, mm. question. So was it actually asthma or was it the thing that was because well, cause you were told you had asthma, right? Yeah, well I've had asthma a long, long time. So is it asthma that yeah, you have or asthma. is it the actual no, diagnosis? It was asthma, it right, was okay. asthma right. that caused the myclonus, which this is now. So when you came round yeah. from, from from the coma, mm -hmm. was you unable to walk or or or, or that? Do you know what? When I came out of the coma, I couldn't talk. I was just shaking like this. I couldn't do nothing. It's like I had to learn again, like a baby basically, learn to talk, wow. feed myself. I couldn't do that. Dress myself, wash myself, everything. Wow. I could not do a thing. Yeah, I had my family there. Luckily, wow. my family were there. So. It was an in instant rehabilitation. For you. Yeah, instant. And the thing is, they didn't even um, give me no physiotherapy. Oh. I had to ask for it. Yeah, I had to ask for it. I had to ask because I was so determined. Clearly. Even when I couldn't even walk, like um, now, mm. I was terrible. I was just really? like this, constantly Re really? shaking. Really? Yeah, I was really bad. Constant shit. I used to have seizures, put it that way. Yeah, I used to have seizures. This land on the floor seizure. I could feel them coming. But yeah. Right. And so question when when you're you can feel a seizure coming, mm -hmm. is it something that you can control or is it something that needs to be medicated? <sighs> For you? It was like um it was my clonus first, which is lack of oxygen. And it affects um, the nervous system. Yes. Okay, so they gave me medication for it. When I finally, well, in the hospital, yeah. and when I came out finally, yeah. after three and a half months, yeah. um, they gave me medication, and then they said, um, we're going to give you epilim for the epilepsy. But that's another story now. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. so you've come out from the coma, mm. what's the, the diagnosis? What? Myoclonus. Myoclonus. Yeah. And then now, onset of epilepsy. Epilepsy, yeah. It was a lot to live with. It was a lot. But it is, it, at that time, it was, uh, I must admit, I wasn't as strong as I am now. Mm -hmm. I would call myself kind of in 86 because it happened in, sorry, January the 31st, 1986. Wow, specific. So, yeah, <laughs> so now when that happened, I was weak. 
I'm gonna say I was weak. I was weak. I was bawling every day, every day, crying, crying, crying. Cause thinking about it, I was about to start my career in America. Mm, of course. Choreography. Choreography. Care yeah. and beauty. Right. And all of a sudden, Just nothing. Nothing. You know, it was hard. Very hard. But thank you to God. Honestly. So this leads leads me to my to my next question. Mm -hmm. So um you come to a point where now you're faced with this Yeah. Brand new beginning. Beginning, yeah. So, so to it's speak. a new beginning, yeah. How did you manage how did you manage to get from that point mm -hmm. to, to now to now? Mm -hmm. Faith, confidence, really. Faith, confidence, and family. Right. You know I mean? Because for me, naturally, I feel like you had all your faculties. I had all my faculties. You know, and mm -hmm. kind of like they've been snatched. Yeah. And so for me, my question is, you know, naturally, it's going to have an impact on you. Of course. Emotionally, yeah. mentally, mentally, spiritually. Course, yeah. How did you cope with that, Queen? At first, like I said, I was really weak. Yeah. Because I don't feel, feel proud saying this. Say it. But I'm going to say, say it. Say it. Because say it. Um, at first, I was taking overdoses. Yeah. yeah. I was overdosing myself. I said, I can't cope. I can't live like this. To know that I was born fine. Should say fine. They were healthy. Yeah. So it was a big turnaround. A big turnaround. Yeah, big turnaround. Yeah, I was overdosing, but I'm not proud of it. I don't do it now because I'm strong and I've got faith, confidence, and I know I can still live life mm -hmm. the same way I used to live. Despise the wheelchair. Mm. I can still live life. 